Hi everyone and welcome to the 11th day of our Christmas calendar challenge. Now today is Sunday so we're gonna have a nice yin practice today to finish off the week. Now for those of you that are new and just discover the challenge now or if you don't remember I will leave the terms for the challenge in the description box if you want to check that out as well. And then we're gonna go and pick our card for today. Deer pose. Okay, so this is the earth element. And we have the kidney and the bladder meridian here. Let's see what we want to do with our deck today. Maybe we want to find some similar meridians. It's gonna, not going to be a super long practice. Let's see. We have it here. Yes, let's do the, this one for Shavaz, all right. Here we have the, I like to do it a little bit like this because then it's a little bit of a surprise what we're gonna do, right? Because you can't, it's, I mean, you can definitely remember all the meridians, but for, it's, it's hard. So just because I want to, do it a little bit like this. We're gonna pick some, okay. It's not gonna be a super long sequence, so we're not gonna lose too much time on this either. I think we have enough to choose from. So it's a bit of a surprise, right? And then we turn them around and see what we wanna do. Okay, the tortoise does what we haven't done, so maybe we wanna do that. The supine twist, the snail, the shoelace pose I really want to do. Let's see, the lizard. We're going to try to find some that are like a bit more typical for, for yin, right? Since there are a lot of them that we do. So that they don't overlap too much with the ones that we do for the other practices, right? Okay. I think we have a lot here <laughs> already. Okay, maybe we're gonna start with the sh um, Yeah, we can have the opportunity to do full or half shoelace pose. And then we can move into a deer. So that's gonna be Maybe we want to do, we're going to start with hanging around a little bit in our forward fold before we move into this. Let's see. So, feet out. 18 minutes. Uh, 18. Couple more. Let's see, we're gonna have this as our Shavasana. We're gonna have this. I think we're gonna have this. And this. Okay. 18. We're gonna have to do some math with this, right? <laughs> 18, and then it is 22, and then 20. Six. Let's do. We can do one more. We're gonna do the supine twist, I think. And then we're gonna do this one. Okay. Now let's get ready to practice. Okay, then let's come to a nice seated position on our mat. And then start to deepen our breath. Breathing in 
and out through the nose. And then we're going to move into a forward fold, moving mindfully to the top of your mat. And then maybe bending the legs a little bit, maybe grabbing hold of your elbows, just releasing down. And finding stillness. Now if you want to put some blocks underneath your hands, you're free to do that if you want to release your hands down. Find the edge that is right for you. If it gets to be too much, you can always lift your head a little bit up, maybe coming, bending your knees a little bit to sit. If this asana is not for you, if you have issues that you should not be doing this, then you can simply do um, forward fold seated, right? So sitting down on the mat and folding forward. It will give you a lot of the same benefits for the hamstrings and the releasing that we're doing. We're going to slowly start to bend our knees, coming down to a seated position. And then we're going to do shoelace pose. So we're going to start by extending the left and then placing the right knee on top of the left knee. Now this is half shoelace pose. If you want to stay here, then you're free to stay here. You can also move forward. If you want to go to the full pose, then we bend the other knee as well, bringing the heel towards the right glute and then stacking the knees one on top of the other. And we can fold forward. Now you find whichever one is suited for you. Make sure that your seating bones are grounded on the mat. And then just breathe into the movement, into the pose.
And just slowly help yourself back up with your hands. And then if you did a full shoelace, then release your left foot forward. And then uncrossing the right. If there are any movement that you feel you need to move through, maybe a little windshield wiper, that's my <laughs> go-to. And then we're gonna come into the other direction. So extending the right leg, crossing the left over, pulling the heel towards the side of our hips. And then if you wanna do the half, and you can stay here if you want to do the full then you can wrap the right leg as well pulling the right heel towards the left hip stacking the knees on top of each other and then we're gonna come forward here making sure there are that our seating bones are grounded, that we're not tipping forward. Just find whatever shape is just for your body. You can also build up here with blocks to support your head if you want to. The props are here to help us find our edge. Also, in a way that the body relaxes more into and you will actually have a more opening because the body releases as it feels that there is a support there. So it releases more easily deeper doesn't retain anything. Inhale, slowly start to come up. And then we're gonna release the right leg and then unfold the left one. Maybe you wanna move a little bit here as well. And then we're gonna move into deer pose. So we're gonna bring our right foot in an angle, opening up the left to the side. So we're having this motion right here. And then we're gonna sit up tall and releasing. Now you can sit on a block here as well. If you need to, you can play with See how it feels on your body, opening or closing of the legs. As we try to ground.
breathe deeply. Our breaths is really a huge help when we do stretching and we're moving in our body like this and opening that might at times feel uncomfortable by taking long exhales and then trying to let go and releasing a little bit further it really helps us to move further in to the movement and also relaxing the muscles. We're gonna move a little bit backwards. We're gonna move the legs and maybe you wanna roll over to your to your glutes. Maybe you even wanna just roll over facing the other side of the mat coming naturally into the other side. Having your left foot forward and your right out to the side. Finding your own edge, maybe sitting on a block Maybe using other props, discovering your body and your way of finding the pose, the shape. Whenever you feel a challenge, staying in stillness, we bring our attention to our breath. And use it consciously to help us breathe into the shapes that our body is creating. And inhale and slowly start to come out, turning towards the back foot, opening, maybe doing a couple of windshield wipers again, a little bit of movement. And then we're going to move into a seated forward fold with the support. Now you can go with or without the support, but we have 
made the one with support for today's practice. So, putting our bolster or whatever you have available at your home, it can be cushions, it can be whatever, something that makes it comfortable and then we just lean forward. Now inhale and slowly come out. We're gonna remove our bolster and then we're gonna come into tortoise pose. Now this is quite a deep stretch and it might be impossible for a lot of people. So we're gonna start slowly by bending the knees and opening up. And then we're gonna put our arms underneath like this. And this might be enough, might be even more than enough for some. But if you are flexible and feel comfortable, you can start moving your feet forward and then slowly continue tucking your arms underneath your legs and then the full extent of the pose is this but if you are not here then don't push it stay where i was in the previous so just with bent legs and arms underneath and then we're gonna stay here for some minutes Trying to relax and find stillness in the pose, which can be increasingly challenging when it's a challenging pose, a challenging asana. So find your edge, don't go too far. 
but also not be too comfortable, right? We want to have something working on our fascia, something stretching, but we don't want to pull something too far, right? So finding that golden spot where it's just a little bit uncomfortable, but you can stay there for a longer period of time. Now, to come out slowly, start to bend your legs, helping yourself with your arms, coming slowly, slowly out, bringing your knees together. Maybe you want to do a little movement. We're going to slowly, slowly turn to come down on our mat. If you want to take a moment to do a constructive rest pose, then you're welcome to do so. And then we're going to slowly move on to a supine twist. So, bringing our knees parallel again, letting that left foot come to the ground, guiding the right one over to the left side, opening the right arm out or slightly upwards, gazing over the right shoulder, and then finding stillness, remembering that both shoulders are grounded and we're not pulling the knee down, we're simply adding some weight to deepen the twist. Breathing deeply and releasing with every exhale, just a little bit more. Being still, the great challenge. Now inhale, slowly roll up. 
And maybe take a moment planting both feet on the mat. Maybe taking a constructive rest pose here as well for just a moment before we move on over to the other side. So releasing the right leg down on the mat, taking a hold of the left knee and then slowly guiding it over to the right, releasing the left arm out or slightly upwards. Gazing over the left shoulder, remembering that both shoulders are still grounded. And that our hand is simply a weight that is put on to our left knee. Breathing into the pose and releasing with every exhale. Now release, coming slowly to both feet on the mat. We're gonna help ourselves slowly up. And then we're gonna get our bolster or whatever you find comfortable. You can build up with blocks, having one block underneath here and then another one under your head whatever feels comfortable for you. And then we're gonna find the Supta Baddha Konasana. So pulling the soles of the feet together and then releasing. Now, if this is too deep of a hip opening for you, then you can place blocks underneath your legs as well to help them stay further up. If not, then you don't have to. Whatever shape is right for your body. And then when you have found the shape that is your edge, And then you just release 
and sink into it. This is our last pose for today. So this is our Shavasana. You can bring your attention to the hips, to the hip joint, and feel how the hip joint is releasing, this releasing that is happening in this area with every exhale that you take. How your body feels heavy on the, on the bolster, on the mat, on your blocks or cushion. How your shoulders are releasing down. Now your breath is flowing in and out through the body, helping you to release just a little bit more with every exhale that you take. And take one last breath. And then we're gonna start to slowly move over to the side. You can help yourself up a little bit. Maybe roll the bolster away, coming down. Maybe you wanna do a little counter with a constructive rest or a little bit of a movement. And then we're gonna roll over to the side. And then slowly come up to seated. Now, Thank you so much for joining me today on this Yin Sunday in our Christmas calendar challenge. Well done you, you have come far. <laughs> We're already gone a long way. We're already over a week in. So this is fantastic. You're making it a habit to do a practice a day. And yes, that's it. I hope this yin has given you a sensation of harmony and a good feeling on this December Sunday. Now go and have a beautiful rest of your December Sunday with your yin energy. Thank you so much.